In 2007, the Ventura County Educators Hall of Fame held their first annual induction dinner. Since then, well over 50 individuals have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame nomination form is effective and straightforward. However, in the process of receiving and reviewing nominations, we have taken note of many things. Certain things can make the nomination of an individual more effective and more efficient. This video is a guide to putting together the most effective and complete nomination form. The Hall of Fame nomination form is one page double-sided or two full pages in length. Section 1, Nominee Information. As this section states, Nominee Information, please write in all information about the nominee, name, address, email, phone number, etc. The bottom of the page pertains to service in education. Please list all areas served in education and for how long and where served. Example, English teacher, Channel Islands High School, 1982 through 89, taught summer school math, Camarillo High, 1979 through 1983, taught night school English as a second language, 1988 through 1990, Moore Park High School. Please select the category or categories of service that apply to the nominee. Section two, honors and recognitions and community service. Please draft a comprehensive list of all the honors and recognitions the person has been given and received. date received. This includes awards within the community at large and for contributions to education. Please list any community service that the nominee may have performed. Attach this information to the nomination form. Section 3, Statement in support of the nominee. Please attach this to the nomination. Section 4, Additional letters of support. You may include up to five. Please limit each letter to a maximum of 300 words and include contact information for each person writing a letter of support. Attach these letters to the nomination form. Section five, nominator information. The person nominating is not able to be anonymous. We need your complete contact information provided here. Section six, references and nominator signature. Please note that by signing this, you are telling us that everything we asked for in the nomination is here and in the manner described on the form and in this video. Nominators, you will be informed when your nomination has been received. Please provide three references as to the nominee's merit for induction. Some other important notes. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at the email provided below or the voicemail number on this video. The same number should be on our website. This number is voicemail only, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Helpful hint. It takes some work to put together a quality nomination. In this vein, I will give the following advice. Try to have a team of two or more individuals working on a nomination, friends, colleagues, etc. With a team of two or more working on the nomination, the time can be shortened slightly and the end product will be more effective. Anyone can nominate someone to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. There's no special requirement. You do not even have to know the person as long as the information you submit is accurate. Anyone can nominate someone. Eligibility. A nominee must have served at least 10 years in Ventura County education. A nominee must have already been retired from education for a minimum of six months. The nominee, if the nominee is retiring at the end of the school year, say June 10th, the nominee is not eligible until January 10th of the following year. Substitute teaching counts as retired. Posthumous nominees are eligible. There are several posthumous inductees into the Hall of Fame. Lastly, we reserve the right to return nominations that have been improperly filled out or submitted. This rarely happens though. Remember, we must receive the nomination forms by Friday, February 2nd, 2018, and the induction ceremony is Saturday, June 2nd, 2018. Eligibility. 
a nominee must have served at least 10 years in Ventura County education. A nominee must have already been retired from education for a minimum of six months. If the nominee is retiring at the end of the school year, say June 10th, the nominee is not eligible until January 10th of the following year. Substitute teaching counts as retired. Posthumous nominees are eligible. There are several posthumous inductees in the Hall of Fame. Lastly, we reserve the right to return nominations that have been improperly filled out or submitted. This rarely happens though. Remember, we must receive the nomination forms by Friday, February 2nd, 2018, and the induction ceremony is Saturday, June 2nd, 2018.